Y'all already know what we do over here. And so far we've been exposing the lies. And we're going to continue doing so. It's not going to stop. So, this next slide that we're going to expose that I sort of uh, touched on on the last video is that Ty Peas Tiffy Killer Howell Dean everybody was at the party who had an interview with the police or detectives and said that everything was fine in the room there was no confrontations no you know everything was chill right and we're gonna go in depth with that chill part on another video because that that's going to take a whole another different type of research all right i just want to establish to those who didn't catch on to the last to the last video that it was no chill mode in there. It was no chill mode in there. And Ty and Peas, they let it be known. And and uh, the girl that was with Ty, they, they let it be known that, that this was no chill mode. Alright? Something was either planned or thought of as they went alone the night of this party so first thing we need to do is establish what is two cups what does it really mean all right and like i say last video some of y'all caught it some of y'all really get what's going on but i want to establish like truly establish what this really mean for those who want to come in and say that uh, the information is bogus all this other stuff let's get into that okay who was two cups what does two cups mean a lot of us didn't know that two cups was actually a person hmm a lot of us didn't know that two cups was actually a person Okay, this was one of Pappy's homies. One of Pappy's homies. So we're going to get into that. Who was two cups? What did it really mean to Tide and Peas or whatever? Well, we already know that Peas, he felt some type of way about it. What did he say, man? Fuck that two cup shit. Man, fuck that two cup shit. You see what I'm saying? They was not talking about no goddamn cups. When you mention Pappy and then you say fuck two cups and you live in Chicago, nigga, you know exactly what you talking about. You know exactly what you saying out of your mouth. You are not clueless. You saying turn that pepperine tone shit off and fuck two cups that's what's coming out of your mouth and you live in Chicago nigga you ain't clueless see we didn't know who two cups was but now we know I want y'all to listen to this let's get into it mm, you can say that being being a GD, you know, and I just interviewed uh, Black Gideon. You know. Well, you said that JoJo is the only person that could have ended the war in Chicago. Let's bring that back a little bit. Being is a GD set. Let's bring it back. So, Pooh Bear passes, and you guys started PBG. Pooh Bear gang. Okay. PBG, that's a faction of uh, GDs, all right? That's a faction of GDs. A faction, F-A-C-T-I-O-N, for motherfuckers who think I can't spell, nor can I speak. 
that was a shot at what are you stupid motherfuckers that like to come over here talking about that dumb shit but so we have the GDs all right these are a faction of the GDs and then of course we already know that it was a whole bunch of vice lords at this party right it was a whole bunch of vice lords at this party okay so the vice lords and the GDs they, they you know some of them they have run-ins all right but we're not going to get into that part we're going to stick to the subject Pooh Bear gang so after Pooh Bear was killed they created Pooh Bear gang now just for the record okay before they became Pooh Bear gang they was considered as cutthroat alright so for those who live in Chicago you know that I know that piece you know that I know what I'm talking about they was considered as cutthroat before they became the PBGs alright now PBG is a is a GD set mm, you can say that okay being being a GD you know and I just interviewed um, Swag De Niro. well you said that Jojo is the only person that could have ended the war in Chicago. Right now, cause he started it. He started it. He made he made it. The highest blessing like now. So you felt that Jojo with that song BDK started the, the war in Chicago. He started the biggest war in Chicago. The one that the one that matters. It's a lot of wars going on. Right, how old were you when, when BDK came out? I think I was like, shit. I think I was like thirteen. Yeah. Like 13. Okay, so you were you involved in any of that at that point? Or no, because no? I'm from up north, you feel me? That's a whole different side of uh, town, you feel me? But we heard we heard about when we like, and we just said, damn, you know, we weren't focused on rapping or none of that, you feel me? The only person that probably was rapping and who we are listening to is Pappy. And he was even, you feel me, putting us on with motherfuckers that's different from the city, you feel me? Okay. So we started hearing about him and shit. And we seen how shit start changing. But that didn't never make us want to rap, you feel me? They ain't never make Pappy want to rap. Tay, they ain't never make us want to rap anybody else rapping. You feel me? Okay, but did you see the violence level increase once once that song came out? Yeah. Really? So that, that's a real thing. Yeah, it put a, it put a big impact on on the Chicago base. All right. For those who don't know who JoJo is and the BDK song that he made, you can go pull it up and you'll see what they're talking about. All right. So what these dudes are saying that even though you still had the little Chicago wars or whatever going on, it wasn't as big as it is now because that song that Lil Jojo did really set off a whole nother type of war. All right, it set off dudes, after, basically after Jojo was killed, it was a lot of back and forth shit going on. All right, and it just grew and it just grew and grew because you're dealing with young dudes 13, 14, 15 years old. You're dealing with young dudes, so this shit just grew and grew and grew and it just got bigger. It was like, as long as they had a gun, they didn't mind shooting, you know what I'm saying? These was young dudes, so anyway, back to the point we have this friction, okay? We have this friction. All right. Even though they said that everybody that was at the party was cool with each other, you had some insane, you had some some uh, traveling vice lords, you had, you see what I'm saying? Like, even though they saying that everybody was cool with each other, and this is something that they normally did, they normally came together and did this or whatever, something wasn't cool. Something wasn't, as they say, chill. All right. So let's get into that. On July 13th, the rapper would once again be the target in a shooting. This time, he was walking down Devon Avenue near his dad's house when an unknown passenger was allegedly ordered by conservative vice lord Eric Vaughn to shoot young Pappy. Once again, did you hear that? Vice lord. Vice lords. Let's say that again. He was 
was walking down Devon Avenue near his dad's house when an unknown passenger was allegedly ordered by Conservative Vice Lord Eric Vaughn to shoot young Pappy. Once again, Pappy survived and escaped the shooting unscathed. So now, as you can see on the screen, this is Young Pappy. And what Young Pappy is going to do in this song is he's going to give us a little insight on, first of all, how Two Cups had an effect on him, and not only that, why when someone mentioned Pappy and then they say fuck two cups you can see the environment and the energy between who two cups was to Pappy what effect that puts on the ops you see what I'm saying you have to understand this to understand the environment that was becoming in that room at the party all right so listen to this okay if you're gonna smoke for me for my big brother too he's talking about two cups that's the title of the song two cups right listen because when that nigga had the choice looking at me like shoot I'm looking at him like who? The fuck, the fuck you think I'm finna do? You think I'm finna stop now? But hell no, I'm gonna blow. Cause he did the same me, I do the same shit for broke. You think I'm finna stop now? Hell no. I'm gonna blow, cause he would've did the same thing for me. See, this is the energy that those two carry when you speak of Pappy and Two Cups. Them niggas ain't nothing to play with. Them niggas was about that up. Killing ops type shit. Them niggas was on that shit. So anybody who say turn off that pappy ringtone and then turn around right behind that and say ain't two cups shit. Fuck two cups. For you to put those two things together and you live in Chicago, nigga, you know exactly what's going on. You are basically confessing that you are a fucking op of pappy and two cups. And anybody who's playing that damn ringtone is gonna get it. Turn that shit off. That's what the that's that's what the whole energy was becoming in the room when that ringtone came on. So even if it was some chill shit before that ringtone came on, it was it turned into some other shit. All right. Now watch this. Just so you know that two cups was a real person. I'm gonna turn the volume down on this. We don't need to hear that. These people are real, okay? Please don't come on my channel telling me that my information is bogus because now that makes you into a suspect. Because now I feel like you're trying to block something. You're trying to block truth from coming out. K2 cups was killed over beef. Young Pappy's gang had with other gang. Day Day World, LOC, etc. And the gang responsible for two cups death is rumored to be Day Day World as they have claimed it. Again, two cups is real. Okay? Two cups is real. It's a real person. 
So now this is going to take us back to. It's basically going to take us back to what the hell was going on in the room. All right. What the hell was going on in the room? Let me see. I suppose I've been going by some notes. Let me see if I missed anything. No, that's all right. I don't need all of that. So, now what we need to do is basically go back to the room. Let's go back to the room. Can I do it from here? And I want y'all to listen to this goddamn security guard too with this everything chill shit. Well, like I said, we can go to another video on that. Let, let's stick to this. On BD, all on. Now y'all already heard the- Turn that, turn that pappy ring tone off. Turn that pappy ring tone off. Why would you say that about a dead person? Again, there's many gangs in this room. You got Vice Lords, you got GDs, which PBG is a faction of the GDs, right? Not, I understand, not all factions hang together, tough together, all of that. I understand GDs, shoot at GDs, especially the Insanes. I understand all of that. I got you on that, all right? But what I'm saying is, all of these different gangs that's in this room and for him to say that with no remorse of who just might catch feelings you see what I'm saying it was like whoever don't like it just don't like it but turn that shit off right and then P's put the tops on it off that puppy ring tone Ain't no two cup shit. Now, why would you say that? You put those together right behind each other. Turn that pepperine tone off. Now, ain't no two cup shit. Peas, you said it was chill in the room. You said everything was cool in the room. In Zach's interview, you said everything was cool in the room, Peas. Why didn't you mention this part? When you was telling motherfuckers, fuck two cups. Why you ain't telling yourself about this part? Because niggas ain't going to tell on themselves. Niggas ain't going to tell on themselves. Okay? Just like we keep saying that little laugh. Sound like Rob in the background, whatever. Niggas ain't going to tell on themselves. Now watch the next thing P say. Fuck two cups. Who said that? Hold right down sis off sister third. That's when the girl I just want one cup. Understand which way P's is looking. P's is looking this way, right? So that's why the girl on that very bed that he's looking at was saying what she was saying. Watch this. After they laughed at Kanika and all of that. Watch this. Two cups. Two cups? What, what do that mean? Because that shit ain't got nothing to do with cups. Okay? You keep bringing two cups up because you know that this is a real human being, but you're going to make a joke out of it, right? Because we ain't talking about cups. Even though you probably are talking about cups when you say two cups, but you're doing it in a, a metaphorical, dis, disrespectful way. Booby gang, nine nine niggas feel like they got the call. They set out now. 
Okay, this is the environment that they just created. Now, motherfuckers feel like they got to call their set out now. Somebody felt disrespected about that two cups and pappy shit. Somebody felt disrespected. Now, you heard that girl saying, now, y'all better chill out over here. See, she trying to get in between this shit. She trying to calm that shit now. You see what I'm saying? Because she see how this shit is going. So she trying to calm that shit down. Y'all better chill out over here. She talking to them. She talking to Ty and this, and, 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 and this girl in front of him. His sister, whoever the bitch supposed to be to him. The biggest bees hey, in here for bank. Y'all all right in my and then this girl that here, dead in she turn around and put the icing on the cake and say that gyro shit dead in here tonight, letting them know straight up all that cool shit. She said it right there. So what the fuck peas and them was talking about about everything was cool. She said it right there, all that gyro shit dead in here tonight. Now that I already explained to y'all what that gyro shit mean. Okay? Gyro also was a real person. But see, Jaro was the type of nigga he was bringing sets together. That's why she say that Jaro shit dead in here tonight. Because really they supposed to be in there as a a, a, a bunch of cool games. That don't mind mingling with each other. You see what I'm saying? That would be some type of shit that Jaro would do. Because that's the type of shit that they came up in. That, that Jaro City shit. That Jaro. That's that's because it was a bunch of little gangs that hung together like they was cool with each other. You had by I think you had by like about two or three gangs that kind of like was chill with each other. Cool with each other. I ain't using that word chill because that shit does mean something. But you see what I'm saying? So that's what she meant by that gyro shit dead in here tonight. We ain't on that gyro. That gyro shit. Then we ain't on that cool shit in here tonight. That's when they gonna come out and say, cause what? We what? <laughs> and in the last video, I show you that he, uh, he uh uh did the trades, cracked the trades. Well, right here, I forgot to mention where he dropped the rakes. You take a a, a, a pitchfork and you bend the forks on it. That's what he doing with his fingers. Now this is a, a diss to GDs because they what? Because we renegades, we crazy crew. They crazy crew, they run the gays. Okay? So why would you profess this? Why why are you making a big deal out of this? Why why are you making an issue out of this? Why you why are you being so fucking disrespectful? And you keep pointing that goddamn camera at Kanika. Why are you being so fucking disrespectful? And then on top of that, like let's not forget, like like one of the uh, the commenters say on the last video, let's not forget. Kanika was supposed to go in the movies, and guess who showed up at the motherfucking movies, showing his sister where he was. Right when his sisters was getting ready to come to the party. He showing his sisters, you know, they FaceTimed each other and he showing his sister that he's at the movies. Well, that's where Kanika was supposed to go. Now when you get to the fucking party where Kanika is at, all the way in Rosemont. Now you steady keep putting that damn camera on Kanika. And you being one of the most disrespectful motherfuckers in there. Y'all don't listen, folks. Y'all don't listen, folks.
So let's go back to uh I'm about to slide this up. I'm gonna end it right here. I'm gonna end it right here. Now y'all see how peas did that? Y'all see how peas did that? Soon as Kanika was like, "What is what is this?" He looked at the camera like, "Uh huh." Like, got it. Watch it. Look. See what I'm saying? Like, what's your point of looking at the camera after Kanika started saying, "What is this?" What's your point? What's so fun? See what I'm saying? How is this a chill moment? Hmm? Why was Kanika the butt of y'all joke? Even while y'all was being disrespectful towards Pappy and, and, and uh, well, basically towards the PBGs, period. While you was being so disrespectful to them, why was Kanika also the butt of the joke with this two cup shit? Because not only you was dissing, but you was also being metaphorically funny on her condition, on what was going on with her. Get that foot out. It's Big B for Big B too, which you know I already know. That Jaro shit did him, man. That Jaro shit did him, man.